Hello everyone, how are you all doing? Welcome to Kareem's Kitchen. If you guys haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell notification for more videos. Today I'm going to be sharing with you this amazing recipe which is going to be Wagamama style firecracker prawn and chicken curry recipe. So keep watching. This recipe is for up to six people. So bear that in mind when you guys are making your portion sizes. So here I have one kg of boneless chicken, 500 grams of prawns. I have one packet of mangatoot. I have one green and one red pepper. I have one large onion. Baby corn. One cup of sriracha sauce, which you guys can use less of or more depending on how much gravy you want. I have some vinegar. I have three tablespoons of soy sauce. I have some nigella seeds for garnishing. I have two tablespoons of ginger and garlic paste. One teaspoon of chili flakes. I have one and a half teaspoon of salt, but add salt to your own taste preference. I have some spring onions for garnishing as well. And then I also have seven dried chilies. So in a hot pan, I'm adding in five tablespoons of oil. And to that oil, I'm going to add the red dried chilies. You guys can add more or less depending on how spicy you want this to be. I'm just making it more spicy because that's what we prefer. But you guys can definitely add less as Wagamama's probably use less than this. So you just want to infuse the chilies in the oil. So let that cook for about two minutes. And then you want to add in the onion and let that brown a bit just so that it's more translucent until you add in the rest of your vegetables. If you guys want more restaurant style recipes, please let me know down in the comments and I will definitely try those out for you. So here I'm just adding in the ginger and garlic paste and cooking that for a bit. Now adding in the green and red peppers and giving that a slight mix. Also adding in the mango too and the sweet corn. And you just want to mix that all in. You guys can definitely substitute the vegetables for any type of veggies you guys like. Now I'm just adding in some vinegar. The sriracha sauce. You guys can definitely add more if you guys think this is not enough for the vegetables as I do add some more later. Also adding in the soy sauce and just mixing that all in. Adding in some salt and also the chili flakes and giving that a good mix. If you guys do find this quite spicy, you guys can definitely add some sugar to balance it out as I have tried and tested that out before and it still tastes absolutely amazing. To create a more gravy texture, I'm adding in 3 quarter of a cup of water and I'm just going to let that cook with the lid on for a bit. You want to cook all the vegetables so that they soften. Now that the gravy and the vegetables are ready, I'm just going to add in the chicken. I'm going to take half of this out and use it for the prawns. So in half of the gravy, I'm adding in the chicken. And I'm going to mix it in well so that all the chicken has been incorporated into the sauce. Again, at this stage, if you guys think that the gravy is less, you guys can definitely add more sriracha sauce and also some water and let that cook with the lid on and that will also just make the chicken more infused with the flavors and this delicious chicken firecracker is now ready to be eaten and now for the prawn firecracker so i'm taking the other part of the gravy which i've just added some more water to i'm adding in the prawns and giving that a mix and then i'm going to put the lid on for the prawns to be infused and for them to cook. 
Even though you've added in more water, you definitely do not need any more salt as prawns are salty in itself. So now that I've taken the lid off, I'm just going to let the sauce thicken as I did add more water. So we're just going to thicken that for about seven minutes. And this is how our prawn firecracker is looking when it's ready, which looks absolutely divine. And I promise you, this is going to taste like Wagamama's. So on a plate, I've just added in some plain rice, which I've just surrounded it with the prawn and the chicken firecracker. And to garnish, I'm adding on some nigella seeds, some spring onions, and also some parsley. You can't deny how amazing that looks and it definitely is giving those Wagamama vibes. This is a great recipe for either lunch or dinner and seeing that it's Ramadan this month, you guys can definitely use this recipe for an iftar as it's lightweight and it's definitely easy to make. And I guarantee this recipe won't disappoint. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe and if you guys did, please hit that like button and also subscribe if you still haven't and let me know down in the comments what else you guys would like to see and i'll see you guys in my next one bye